Hey everyone, welcome back to the Bloodborne walkthrough or through series. This is episode two. My main character's all covered in blood. <laughs> Let's continue on after we've unlocked the shortcut. Won't go that way yet. We'll go through the house again. That way's the kennels. We're gonna go up here. Actually, no. We're gonna go... My apologies. We're gonna go actually all the way around, back all the way over. Wanna do progress the correct way. This way. We don't wanna go upstairs in that house yet. Uh, bell tolls. We're gonna go this way since there's no enemies anymore. Which is very, very nice. And you that outsider? Well, sorry, but I don't want anything to do with you. Trot along, will ya? Yes, sir. Ah! Missed the Molotov cocktail up here. Glad I came back. I killed you guys. Where did you guys come from? Where did you guys come from? I'm happy for the blood vials, but jeez. Where did they come from? Did I really miss him? That was a nice little surprise, wasn't it? <laughs> Let's go this way. Continue on. Let's try to get a backstab on this guy. Walk slow. This roll. Oh! Didn't work. Transformed R2 for the win. We picked up our first shining coins, more Molotov cocktails, and a torch. Let's put the torch on. Because we're going to need it. Not far. A common torch formed in wrapping a pine resin drenched cloth around the end of a long stick. Hunters choose torches not only to, because the hunt leads them in the darkest nooks, but they also because certain creatures they encounter are possessed Deathly fear of flame. We'll need that later on against a certain enemy. Various coins are particularly luminous. There are very few uses for spare change during the hunt, but these will serve as guides throughout the darkness, or one could save them until morning, if it ever comes. Those are used to mark our way. Here. Let's go this way. Pick up another cold blood dew. We can't open this yet, but we will soon enough. Close by a device. With the saddest NPC quest line ever. If you've played this game, you know what I'm talking about. one by one. Or try to, anyway. That'd be tough. Ah, the gun guy.
Put him down here. Come on. Or I can hit you from there. Shoot again. More blood vials. Last doggy. Up six more blood vials. This area of the game is so huge. And we hear the howl. The howl. Ah. Oh, so creepy. Run back here so we don't have to deal with the beasts yet. Get this item. Get more bloodstone shards. We don't have to fight the uh, dogs, but. We can use them to come here. was a close one. You don't have to fight them, but they drop the blood bugs. I was trying to um, lure them with the pungent blood cocktail, but they both came instead of one. <laughs> now I wasted, not eh, wasted, but uh, used a lot of Molotovs. That's where it came from. Going up here. To the right is going to be the kennel shortcut, but we already did that area. We're going to be going back there in a bit. Oh boy. We'll go this way. Yet. That's going to be another secret little area. Before we do that, before we go there, continue on, let's move up here and unlock our second shortcut through the house. So there's the kennels down there. Use our torch. This guy. This guy break through. Oh, blood too. But we're just in here. This is the upper floor of the house. Go back up here. Go to the kennels here if we wanted to right now, but we're not going to do that yet. Down there is the kennels. There's the first optional boss, but you should beat him. Uh, he drops a lot of blood echoes. Pick up an inter interesting item after that, but we'll now go to this area of the game, which is super fun. It's a secret area. This item is supposed to lead you down here. More bloodstone. But 
it's a little treacherous over here. So, go down here. Secret area. Go down here. These guys are tough. The reason I love the saw cleaver is because a saw cleaver has a hidden bonus damage against beast type enemies. And those, uh, we fa we were facing in the first half of the game a lot of be beast type enemies. A lot. are the best way to beat these guys. They're tough, so... Let's get blood bullets. You press up on the D-pad. You get five extra bullets. Ladder right there. Wait for this guy to come here. Guy over there. Ladder's down there. Guy too. He's really tough. He's scary because he's got that Ugh stuff. Look how much damage he does. our blood vials. So we've taken care of this threat up here, which is really, really important. We do want to go down there and fight the rats, but you'll notice there is a ladder right here. Basically back up here. If you need to run back. And I dropped down. That was stupid. <laughs> Just wanted to show you that you can get back up there. Pop on. Before we down there. There. Oh, go the other side and do it. See that little item on the beam, and hopefully I don't screw it up. We got thick, cold blood. See the enemy right there. Very dangerous. able to get my fall damage reduced because I plunged on him. We're one of the rats here. They are dangerous, so just separate them. Be two-shotted. One of them. Bring him here. Got 
Throwing knife, we'll look at the lore on that one in a second. Love throwing knives, super happy to eat. See? Keep attacking, you'll regain most of your attacks, even if he's dead. Second. I only got one. So, love to put these on, but let's, uh, throwing knife with a finely serrated blade, one of old Henrik's favorite weapons. Oh, I love Henrik. We got our first lore bit about Henrik. Does not cause a great deal of damage to beasts, but with deft use, can distract attackers and keep them at bay. Remember, off to the side right here. Beast, let's lure him out. Stay back. Blood vials topped off, and then we get our first clothing of the game. That fashion. One of the standard articles of hunter attire fashioned at the workshop, a fine piece of hunter attire that provides stable defense to anyone facing Yarnum's beastly threat. Recognized by the withered feathers, this cap is fashioned after one of the old hunters. One of the standard art uh, articles of hunter attire fashioned at the workshop coming by a short cape to wipe away blood. Fine piece of hunter attire provides stable defense to anyone facing Yarnum's beastly threat. Allows one to stalk beasts unannounced by the cover of night. These all say the same thing. Look how dope we look now. Ugh. Okay. Now, we want to drop on these things to avoid a lot of damage. All right. Run. Get this. Run away. Go up here. We don't need to fight them. Pain in the bootay. Go up there in a sec. We're gonna keep going up. That is a incredibly uh, important item, lore significance, and what we'll need to do to level up. Because we can't level up now, you'll notice the doll is not active because we don't have insight yet. But if we use this before we get to the Hunter's Dream... Skull of a madman touched by the wisdom of great ones. Use it to gain insight. Make contact with the Eldritch Wisdom, the Blessing, or even... It drives one mad and allows to serve a grander purpose of posterity. 
Now, if you don't know the twist in Bloodborne, I won't spoil it yet. There's a twist in the game, and I had no idea this was coming, and it's right here at the beginning of the game when it mentions the uh, Great Ones and making contact with the Eldritch Wisdom, and then you can see the design of that little slug-looking thing coming out of its head. We'll talk about that later, but that's amazing that they just teased that right there at the beginning of the game, and I had, and I think a lot of people before uh, knowing, um, they did not have any idea about the twist in the game, because this is a gothic horror game, but it turns into a different kind of horror game later on, and it's awesome. More blood vials. We got another NPC here. Wretched outsider. Trying to fool me to open this door. Heavens and depths of depravity. <laughs> Wretched outsider. Everyone's locked up. Locked themselves up in Yarnum because of the hunt. The beasts. And here is that shortcut. Into the plaza that we talked about. There's one of the most heartbreaking NPC side quests in the game. There we are. Now we can get through. Awesome. Let's talk to her. This is so sad. I don't know your voice, but I know that smell. Are you a hunter? And yes, it's where you look for my mum. Daddy never came back from the hunt, and she went to find him. But now she's gone too. I'm all alone and scared. So she knew us by smell. Hunters have a specific smell, so she knew we were a hunter. Tells us about our father too. He must be a hunter as well. On the girl's mother. Oh, thank you. My mum wears a red jeweled brooch. It's so big and, and beautiful. You won't miss it. Oh, I mustn't forget. If you find my mum, give her this music box. We get the tiny music it plays box. It's one of daddy's favourite songs. And when daddy forgets us, we play it for him so he remembers. Mum's so silly when I'm off without it. That's a huge item that we get from her. Small user box received from the young Yarnum girl plays a song shared by her mother and father. Inside the lid, small scrap of paper, perhaps an old message, two names can be made out, however faintly. Viola and Gascoigne. That is an essential item to pick up. Now we're going to go back down. Actually, I think I want to, because I'm trying to think, before we go all the way down, that shortcut, um, may want to go through the kennels first. I think we do. Yes. We want to go to the kennels first. We'll be back down there. Take the kennels. Shortcut. We've already beat all the enemies here, which is nice. Very nice. We're going to go proceed through kennels shortcut here. We got business to attend to this way. We have to meet our, or my favorite, uh, NPC of the game. Blood do. You see the dog barking outside of the door. 
from the NPC. This is not my favorite NPC that I was talking about. She's coming up in a minute. Let's hear what she has to say. I've heard I have. Shutting up indoors isn't always enough. Well, if you were to stop your asses, you wouldn't be in this mess. You're obligated to help me, you hear? Are we? So what, the bitch? Are you going to tell me you're not? No. No, no, no. Yeah, I should have known. You're good for nothing. No respect for the elderly is what that is. That little good view outsiders do. Go on. Admit it. You think we're all mad, don't you? You are all mad. Stop it. I know all your tricks. Go down here. We're going to go through that in a minute. Here, we're go down there. Here. Very important. We can scope out everyone we gotta defeat. There's a lot big mess over here, but there's also items that you want. Get more cold blood do. Transform your saw cleaver. Cut that down. That's gonna be an awesome item. Cut this down, but we'll shoot it. Oh, somebody must have died. Shoot that. I don't have to. There's a gun guy right there. And a couple of wolfy guys right there. There's one right there, he heard us. There's one right there. Go through here. This is one of my favorite NPC of the game, right here. Lean. Careful not to hit her. Oh. A hunter, are you? And an outsider? What a mess you've been caught up in. And tonight of all nights. Here. To welcome the new hunter. Old Hunter's Mark. Prepare yourself for the worst. There are no humans left. They're all flesh-hungry beasts now. No humans left in Yarnum. They're all fresh-hungry flesh hungry beasts. Still Everyone's a beast, about. even hunters. Think about that. What's wrong? A hunter unnerved by a few beasts. No matter. Without fear in our hearts, we're little different from the beasts themselves. Coolest emote of the game. What are you still doing here? Enough trembling in your boots. A hunter must hunt. <laughs> A hunter must hunt. Let's uh, switch this with the coolest. Emote of the game. That is so dope. <laughs> so we have to talk to her to get her to move somewhere soon. But let's go down here. Pillars. Oh. Is the gun guy over there, I think? I 
pillars here. Oh, wow. That was stupid of me. I don't know what I was doing there. Let's go around this way. Try to get a back step on. Those guys are rough, especially early on in the game. Love to hear the crackling. I can get a chain back step on them. Gonna ready to do that. I got him. Okay. So that's how you would uh, get this item as well. Full blood do. Forgot, didn't show the bold hunter's mark. Dangling upside down rune etched in the mind of a hunter. The image upon the parchment allows one to envision the rune with clarity. Allows a hunter to reawaken without losing blood echoes. Trick that's not nearly too good to be true. Let's put this on our persons up here. So that's an awesome little thing that uh, you can use to reawaken at the lantern. Or you go down there. We want to come here because these guys, these gun bros, suck. You don't take care of these guys right here. They're going to be shooting at you. And it's going to suck when you're coming up that ladder. Right there. You're going to be coming up this ladder. And they're going to be shooting at you. And it's going to suck. Go kill the crows too. dropped there before. This is the other side. All the ghouls over there. So. Get the oil urn. More oil. This is awesome. Let's drop down here. Get a bloodstone shard. Drop down. Come up here. Old circle to go faster. Come up here again. Go this way. We're going to pick up those two items that we cut down. Nice. Got a little bit of health back with the regain. These guys first. Saw spear. An awesome, awesome weapon. 
Awesome secondary weapon to have next to a sock leaper. Down a minute, but we'll drop down here because we gotta go back up. Drop on the other side to get the iron. The saw effective for drawing the blood of beasts transformed to a medium range spear. Saw with its set of bloodletting teeth has become a symbol of the hunt and only grows in effectiveness the more grotesquely transformed. I love alternating between these two. Um, you get a little skill scaling with the saw spear, so skill um, builds will really benefit from that. We're doing more of a quality build. I might switch to it a little bit, but... Just to try something new. But I love... Nice. Wrong guys. I love the... Saw Spear. Or the Saw Cleaver. Off. Get more Madman's Knowledge. Uh, no more knives, rats. <laughs> well, we're done with this area of the game, which is awesome. We did not die, which is great. Nothing here. We're now ready to continue on. Go this way instead of going up. We're gonna now go this way. Go this way. Oh, I thought that was the, uh, oops. No, it's this way. There's the item right here. Bloodstone shard. Run past these guys. Oh. And let's uh run as fast as you can. Get behind this piggy. blood vials. And we get the Saw Hunter badge. Very important. Badge crafted long ago at the workshop. It tests to one of the prowess as Hunter of Beasts. The workshop is gone. No group recognizes this meaningless badge except the messengers in the bath who understand its profoundity. Certain things can be entrusted with the hunter and a possession of this badge, so they believe. I don't want to head this way yet, because we do want to fight the cleric first. This is so cool. This is so cool. I believe, is this the shortcut to... Yes, we don't want to be here yet. That's a shortcut to... Oh, they're gonna die. <laughs> yep, <laughs> on the bridge, that's okay. Um, we're gonna go this way. Um, that's to the next boss fight after our first one, which is an optional boss fight, believe it or not, but... I'm gonna go up this way. Dumb crows.
those were the guys that were killed. We're going to activate this. Go back to the starting area. Basically dropped a huge flame ball. <laughs> but this elevator is the last shortcut in this area that we definitely want to unlock. Because now we can get to the second boss fight. After this. Dirty. More shiny coins, blood vials, and now we're at the beginning area of the game. You can see we're gonna go up here. That's the house. We're gonna go through the gate. Before we head back, we're gonna consume our madman's knowledge because we need one point of insight to level up. So we'll go do that. Head back to the hunter's camp. I am a doll. Here in this dream to look after you. Honorable hunter, pursue the echoes of blood, and I will channel them into your strength. You will hunt beasts, and I will be here for you. We'll hunt beasts, and she'll be here for us. To embolden your sickly spirit. This is how we Very level well. up. Let the echoes become your strength. Let me stand close. Now shut your eyes. Did you speak with German? He was a hunter long, long ago, but now serves only to advise them. He is obscure, unseen in the dreaming world. Still, he stays here, in this dream. Such is his purpose. Ah, the little ones, inhabitants of the dream. They find hunters like yourself, worship and serve them. Speak words they do not. Like the beginning of the game when we were dragged by but them. still, aren't they sweet? Ah, they speak. Farewell, good. May you find your worth in the waking world. Consume insight and ring the beckoning bell to endless cooperation from others. Beckoning bell and silence bell. Its ring resonates across worlds for the first hunter used it as a special signal to call hunters from other worlds to cross the gap and cooperate. A human must use insight to ring the uncanny bell, but with its benefits across world cooperation are many. Hunters are linked in resonance bells with special encoded tim timbres. This inaudible burst disrupts the resonance. Fire to end cooperation and prevent further cooperation. Firing this does not disrupt the resonance of the sinister. And we get our DLC item, I believe. This is for the DLC. A human must expend insight to ring the sun candy bell. The old hunters who have long passed in the dream cannot forget the feeling of the hunt. Rely upon messengers to relay their thoughts. Ring the bell at their side, and they are certain to give a listen. The night of the hunt is long and unchanging. German's not here. He's probably sleeping in the garden. But we want to fortify our weapon. It's at plus two.
wanted to put a gem in it, but it's okay. Uh, we only have four, so that's okay. Should be good enough. We'll end the episode here, and we'll get our first boss fight in on the next one. Thank you so much for watching. Please like, comment, subscribe, and I'll see you on the next one. Take care.